Hello again. It's Friday, August 28, 2020. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. The Committee on Joint School Services held a question and answer session last night at Kerfman Hall with DSLCC's John Renoni as moderator. Committee members answered many questions from the public, but there were only about 20 in the audience. Listen. At the conclusion of the special session, the governor will work on a new budget that will include year two spending. This second year budget, or caboose bill, will be introduced in December of 2020 and acted on by the 2021 Virginia General Assembly in January. We believe that as long as the Joint Subcommittee is committed to developing and submitting a consolidation plan to the Board of Education, the Governor and 2021 General Assembly will support these efforts and again allocate appropriate funding for the items outlined in the consolidation plan. When, when we first got the financial uh, data from the uh, lawyers, they told us, and, and this really was an eye opener for us, they told us very clearly that the current systems that we have is not sustainable unless one of two things happen. Number one, uh, a sharp increase in taxes, or number two, a sharp decrease in services. Future capital expenditures that would be shared between the city and the you know, consolidated division, that a per pupil funding basis be used as part of any contract that the, the city and the county would negotiate uh, between themselves. I don't feel like this is what we should be doing. Um, there were times when we said that we want to offer the kids so much more, we talk about sports. And school's not about sports, but for some kids, that's all they have. And if you have 40 people from one school coming out for football, and 40 that was from Covington, but we're a joint board now, we're not going to have 80 people on the team. And if you're in 10th, 11th, or 12th, if you're going to play, you have to be on varsity. There's not going to be 30 or even 40 people from the football team. So this is just what I feel. Like I said, I think this, this plan, Jonathan has kept me in touch. And I've just had a lot of things going through my mind concerning this. Um, Like I said, we said it's about the kids. I don't, I don't see that. We'll offer our students more opportunity while using our uh, local dollars, local and state dollars, more efficiently. It would be at least a year and a half before we come together. The new school board would be in place for a year um, it, before we did any real, made any real changes or anything. The Virginia Community College System has announced that one of the four finalists for the top job at Thomas Nelson Community College is DSLCC President John Renone. A decision from the State Community College System's Chancellor is expected soon. And now a word from our sponsor. Among the various topics at Thursday's Iron Gate Town Council meeting was the recognition of town resident Dennis Dew for keeping his word about a significant Tannery Road property cleanup. Mayor Chuck Unrell thanked him very much. Listen. We appreciate you following through on what you promised us and your neighbors mm -hmm. that you will do. And, and we've heard from the neighbors and the neighbors are happy with, uh, with the situation over there, and it, it looks really nice. The Allegheny Highlands YMCA reported that a central learning staff member had tested positive for the COVID-19 virus. 
The wise management contacted the local health department and those potentially exposed are self-quarantining. And we'll be right back. And now for local obituaries. John Stinnett, 73, of Clifton Forge, died Tuesday. Deborah Humphrey, 73, formerly of Lexington, died Monday. Adam Schwartz of Lexington died Saturday. Gary Nick Jr., a Covington infant, died Tuesday. Harold Weichel Sr., 83, of White Silver Springs, died on Wednesday. Gloria Dressler, 74, of Covington, died Wednesday. Helen Hodge, 92 of Hot Springs, died on Thursday, and Edward Wines, 83 of Glasgow, passed away on Monday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. And now it's time to check out the local weather forecast. On Saturday, it should be mostly cloudy with showers, high of 83 and a low of 64. On Sunday, mostly sunny, high of 85 and a low of 59. And on Monday, mostly cloudy with scattered showers, high of 80 and a low of 64 degrees. And that's the way it is on Friday, August 28, 2020. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.